Hello friends, how are you? I, Dr. Kothani, welcome you in my YouTube channel. Friends, today we are going to discuss weighted average or price related method of constructing price index number. Okay, so friend, let's start. We have a question given here. Commodities, rice, flour, and pulses. We have three commodities. They are prices in base year denoted as P0 and quantity in base year denoted as Q0. These are 40, 25, 50, and 10, 20, and 5. Similarly, prices for current year, this is denoted as P1, 45, 38, and 55. So we are asked to construct a price index by weighted average of price relative method. Okay, so those that we have constructed in, in the unweighted one, that was the unweighted price relative method. Here it is weighted average of price relative method. Okay, so friend, this weighted average of price relative we can calculate by two ways. Okay, so first one is number one, that is by arithmetic mean. And second by geometric mean. Okay, second by geometric mean. That is by geometric mean. Okay, so we have two method to construct weighted average of price relative. Okay, so let's start by arithmetic mean method. Okay. So for this, we have a formula that is P01 equal to sigma PV upon sigma V. Okay. This is our formula. Sigma PV upon sigma V. Here, P means price relative and V means that is the value weight. Okay. Here, P equal to price relative price relative and V equal to value weight okay and this price relative is simply P1 upon P0 into 100 and value weight is it is P0 into Q0 okay this is our value weight okay so then let's start we need these two column PV and V. So first we need V. Okay. So have a column here that is V. Okay. And V is nothing. It is just P0, Q0. Okay. This is P0, Q0. Right. So 10 into 40, it will be 400. 25 into 20, it will be 500 and 50 into 5 it will be 250 okay and next we need price relative this is simply denoted as P and this one is equal to P1 upon P0 into 100 okay this one is our price relative okay so P1 is 45 P0 is 40, 45 upon 40 into 100 gives us, it is 112.5, 112.50, okay. Then 38 upon 25 into 100 gives us 152, 152, okay. Last 55 upon 50 gives us 110. So these are our price relative P1 upon P0 into 100, right? So next we need, we need PV, okay? Next we need price relative into value or weight, right? So this column into this column, okay? So 400 into 112.5, it is 45,000, it is... 45,000. 500 into 152 that is 76,000. 76,000. And the last one 250 into 110 is 27,000. 
gives us 820.40. Now, 500 into 2.1818 gives us 1090, 1090.90. Last, this is 250 into 2.0414 gives us 510.35.35. Right? So, now we need total of this column. This is sigma v log p equal to this gives us total as 24 241 sorry 2421 2421 point 7 okay it is 65 i am taking it as 7 okay 2421 point 7 okay so now this gives us anti log sigma v log p is 2421 share it to your friends and give your valuable comments. Have a nice day ahead. God bless you.